Taimon are massive apex predators. These giant taimon, they own a mile or two or three miles of river, and that's where they hunt. Ah, taimon! You gotta work hard for them. You know, you're worn out, you're fishing big flies, heavy gear, it's exhausting. You're covering water, you're making more casts in a day of taimon fishing than I think some anglers will do in, in a whole season back home. And then you find the right fish who's in the right mood and he's hunting. It's just gonna blow your doors off. It's the, it's the biggest trout you'll ever see in your life. I've never traveled so far to get anywhere, let alone a place to fish. We call it an expedition, and it genuinely is an expedition. There's no two ways about it. With the local Mongolians, we hire herdsmen from the upper river, uh, and they're the ones that provide us with the horses and the camels and 20 to 30 people. Um, you know, depending on which trip you're on, that, that kind of make all this, this possible. We went up over giant ridges and down into valleys and then back up and crossed over the river. This, this whole fly fishing culture is very new in Mongolia. Can you eat it? Yeah! This is their river. This is their river valley. And if they don't care about the taimen, the taimen are not going to survive. You just, you have to have faith, and that's what, that's what I'm thinking about with every cast, even if we, if, if it's been a day or two days or whatever, how long since we've even moved or seen a fish. Come on! Keep covering water and, and have faith that on that next fish, you're gonna find that player, and you're gonna put your fly in front of him, and he's gonna eat it. I wanted to give up. I was just like, I am so done with this fly. I have the craziest textbook. This is how you break your rod and a 50 pound fish on the line. Oh, oh. Help, help, oh, help me. <laughs> Trying to figure out the fish was amazing, but the Time and Festival was the most important part of this journey because we were trying to get the local community involved in time and conservation. We have communities that we travel through, we work with every week. It's as much about those communities, the people in those communities, and um, empowering them and, and helping them protect their resource. Amazing collaboration between bioregions and um, Mongolia River Outfitters, Fish Mongolia, the Time and Fund, and they all they all put on a big a big medical clinic, and you know people came out of the woodwork for it. I don't know exactly what the numbers were, but um, they checked them out and stayed another uh, day after to do do some um, some follow ups and pull some teeth and just make sure everybody's kind of happy and healthy and. One of our guides, Tolga, he, he taught some kids, some of the young kids, how to do some fly casting, and that was pretty, pretty cool to see um, the excitement behind all that. And Ross and myself, we got to take all the, we had, we had the easy job, we had the fun job to take all the kids out in the boats, and uh, it was just cool to see the whole community come together. There just came a time when I, I, I outgrew catching a lot of fish and just said, you know what, I want to see a faraway, beautiful place and catch the fish of a lifetime. I'm willing to put in the hours to catch just one big fish. 